Hi y'all, I'm Missy Howard. Thank you for tuning into the Trucker Barbie channel. Today I'm going to be talking about team driving again and I'm going to be talking specifically about uh, clock management. This can be a real bone of contention for team drivers. So uh, I think it's a very important matter to discuss. Um, let's just say you throw away 30 minutes per day of your clock just from lack of attention or not caring or whatever your weird attitude is why you wouldn't uh, run a tight clock. Um, okay, you're going to throw away 30 minutes a day for seven days. That's about two hours and ten minutes. Okay, um, times that by four, four weeks, that is eight hours, 40 minutes. Okay. Um, that's about nine hours per month. Let's just round it on up. Okay, uh, let's say you're averaging $15 an hour when you drive. Let's make a conservative estimate, okay? Um, and you're gonna times that by um, nine hours, um, and that comes to $117 per month. And let's times that by 12 months. That is $1,400 approximately in lost potential income as a result of running sloppy clocks, okay? Uh, let's say you've uh, averaged out your income to where you average $25 an hour, okay? Um, that's gonna come out to about a loss of uh, $2,700 per year in lost potential income. Uh, that's a vacation. Uh, that's, uh, you know, some repairs to the truck. Um, it won't quite buy a set of tires uh, for a tractor trailer, but, you know, maybe you'd be halfway there if that's what you needed. So, you know, uh, when you're a team, um, how your team driver manages their clock is your business to a certain degree and how you manage your clock is your team driver's business to a certain degree. Because uh, when I see that 70 hours, I don't know about you, but I see potential income, okay? And that makes me think, you know, I really, really, really need to conserve my clock, okay? Um, most drivers uh, won't give any more than 10 minutes of their clock to an on-duty function, such as pre-trip, post-trip, fueling, uh, loading, unloading, okay? Um, some people say that that's what DOT wants to see. They want to see at least 10 minutes for any on-duty function, okay? Um, I've had team drivers back up to a dock in a secure facility where there's people around and they think that they've got to leave themselves on duty for four hours, okay, or three hours or whatever. And they're just going to piss that time away. Uh, they're not going to put themselves off duty and then wait until the truck's getting loaded, then put themselves on duty, go inside. And, you know, that's probably going to take maybe 10, 15 minutes at the most in most cases. And so, you know, why piss your clock away? Why keep yourself from making money? Uh, when you do it to yourself, you're doing it to your team driver also. And... Uh, you know, you need to get to on the same page. You need to get on the same page with your team driver. Are we going to run sloppy clocks or are we going to run tight clocks? What are we going to do here? Now, um, the way your team driver runs their clock, like I said, is your business to a certain degree. On the other hand, you should never edit their clock unless they ask you to. They get out of the truck. Oh, I forgot to put myself off duty. Would you do it for me? Fine. Okay. Or, um... You know, you know, just it has to be their permission. Uh, they got in the sleeper. Oh, would you put me in the sleeper? But you do not approve your drivers, your team drivers' logs. I repeat, you do not approve your team drivers' logs. They should have the opportunity to go through their logs and make their edits, okay, and then approve their own logs, okay. I've had team drivers approve my logs before I had a chance to edit them. Okay, that'll get stuff stirred up on a truck. So don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. You're not supposed to approve your team driver's logs. And you're not supposed to edit them 
really at all. But, you know, if they just ask you, hey, please put me in the sleeper, I forgot. Or, please put me off duty, I forgot. Okay, that's, that's a little different. You're probably not going to encounter any problems over that. But, um, anyway, just want people to think about that 70-hour clock and that it represents money. And when you piss away your clock without even editing it, without even looking at it, I've had team drivers... They pissed away like nine hours of their clock in one week, just backed up to docks or just forgetting to put themselves off duty when they do something or get out of the truck. They're not even doing anything. They're not even doing any safety sensitive function. They're not loading. They're not unloading. They're not fueling. They just got out of the truck to go to the bathroom or something or even take a shower, left themselves on duty for an hour or something. Okay. That's, that's just crazy to me. I'm sorry. All right? That's just crazy to me. But like I said, get on the same page with your team driver or potential team driver about how you're going to run your clocks. Because it is a matter that affects both of you. You are a team. And if that's just too much for you, stay solo. Do the world a favor and stay solo. Okay? There's nothing wrong with solo drivers. God bless the solo driver, okay? But if you can't be a team driver, you know, and you can't deal with team issues, and that's just too much for you, stay solo. That's all I have to say about that. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for listening to my video, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.